So like I was saying, um, you see this right here, it says forever. Just the bottom part, forever. A mother is going to be coming for you forever about her child. Um, I have to put out the information to show that my child was abducted because if she could get away with it, she would try. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is my child. And like I was saying, there are women whose children were abducted at very young ages and they, they, they were adults before they got to see their moms again and their moms spent their lifetimes looking for their children and their children spent their lifetimes looking for their mothers or their fathers and this is very serious because Austin was not Cynthia's son and God revealed to me that um, she has not done this to someone whose God's name is Jehovah so um, I'm going to uh, speak it for what it is. It is child abduction. And that's why I'm gonna put out the rest of the evidence showing exactly what they did in court, exactly how they got my child, um, exactly who was all involved. And it don't matter how much time went by. He was 22 months old when his father was attacking me and him and I had to protect us and I had to go to jail for protecting us. And Cynthia um, had got my baby from the scene where her son, Austin Matter, her adopted son, Austin Matter, he's Caucasian, was attacking me and our son, uh, Melbourne Halo Matter. That's how she got my baby. So my baby needs to be returned to me, but they're trying to leave me out on the streets like a bum just to try to steal my child. So you're, you're, you're taking advantage of me and my vulnerable situation. I was abused, I had my own place, and you're trying to keep me on the streets so you can steal my baby. And the white community is trying to help her do this, and that's wrong, because they know that this young white man was abusing me and my son, and they dropped the charges, but you're trying to steal my child. Well, they have stolen my child, and um, the black community is very wicked because they're over here trying to help this woman uh, get away with stealing my child because they are jealous. They are jealous of my baby. They were jealous of my life. Um, this white man was abusing me and instead of standing up for me, they were trying to say kill me in the back of the jail. And when I uh, got out, they were very angry because the charges were dropped and God said that I was not guilty for protecting myself from this white man. And all of these black girls out here are talking about they want a white baby daddy, but that is not what the topic is here. The topic is I have a white baby daddy and he's been abusing me. Y'all need to get off of your high princess horse and stop looking at this stuff through rose-colored glasses because they are not princes out here. Um, these men are very vicious and they are like animals when they get angry. And you do, you, you do not understand the type of um, anger and hostility that they can house inside of their bodies. And you cannot have them in the house around small children while they are behaving like that. And y'all are over here um, talking about you want a baby by a white man and trying to keep me from my son. And it is very evil. And they know that. That's why they're trying to kill me to keep me from putting out the evidence that they stole my child. And there has to be repercussions for this. You're leaving me out on the streets to steal my precious baby because you felt like I should have been guilty for hurting this white man for hurting me. And that just shows the racism in our society towards African-American women. You feel like it's okay to abuse us. And then when we have to defend ourselves, you feel like it was wrong for us to defend ourselves because you felt like it was right to abuse us. And this is why I'm trying to say my son needs to be returned to me and my home needs to be restored to me. My, my Wherever I was living with my child, you know, it doesn't have to be in the same place. We need an apartment given to us by the state because this is their fault. They were not helping us when I was calling about this young white man when he got out of prison. And for Cynthia to have my child, and I have family members that are jealous of my life, they are jealous of me. They were not there when he was abusing me. They were not there for me throughout my life. 
and they're over here trying to be wicked and they see God bless me with a beautiful child and they don't want to see me have nothing good in life. They ain't never wanted to see me have nothing good in life. They always stole my stuff, always talk bad about me in the streets, you know, always tried to fight me. And now that they see an opportunity to try to hurt me and keep me from my child, they're trying to join in and talk bad about me. And that's my child. So God said the trap that they try to set for me, they're going to fall into. So it's like um, all my family members out there, I hope that you really do enjoy your children because God said whatever you do to me is going to happen to you. So if you're trying to, uh, to uh, take me from my child, uh, keep me from my baby boy, keep me from getting my baby boy back, you better watch out as far as the type of relationship that you have with your children because your children might end up not wanting nothing to do with you while you're trying to keep me from my child. That's serious. I'm going to be in my son's life. So y'all can forget about this old demonic satanic ritual stuff that you're trying to pull. But anyway, um, uh, so uh, there, about the abandoned houses, uh, the, the Holy Spirit was showing me some stuff about abandoned houses and that um, they were going to try to have me out on the streets after Barbara's and after, you know, these couple of traps with the um, first abandoned house, that they were going to try to have me outside and be talking about my face and um, the Holy Spirit showed me they were going to be trying to talk about my skin. Of course, I don't have nowhere to wash. I don't have nowhere to groom. They won't even let me into a shelter to wash my face. So, um, yeah. So, they're, he said they're going to be trying to talk about my skin. Um, I'm not even going to get into that because that's very evil and petty. And the Holy Spirit is going to break the power. Jesus Christ is going to break the power of all witchcraft, demonic spells that these women are trying to place upon me by trying to have me looking bad on the streets. Anyway, that's petty. But um, the Holy uh, Spirit did tell me that they were going to be trying to talk about my face and my skin and have me outside. And then he told me that they were going to try to have me in abandoned apartments and that um, there would be a lot of celebrities and actors and people that were actually behind having me in abandoned apartments and that um, there would be people who would be squatting in these apartments and that it would be dangerous because you have the leasing office, you have um, security, you have police, you have crazy homeless people, you know, um, that could hurt me or try to set me up like I'm doing something wrong if the only place that I had to go was to go with someone into an abandoned apartment. Um, and he was showing me that people would be like living, uh, like they were living in these abandoned apartments, and but like they really didn't really live there or like it was still a setup, um, whether they lived in those apartments or not. And so there was a young man who I met today, and he said to me, uh, he was like, oh, well, are you homeless? I'm kind of homeless, too. Oh, well, I know some apartments. You might not want to, but we can sneak into the back of some apartments and stay in uh, abandoned apartments and I told you about the abandoned house and the abandoned apartments and God showed me running and he showed me saying that they were trying to stage altercations um, in the mall he was showing me having to guard my belly I did have to do that um, because people were uh, acting like they were going to try to fight um, you know or do something like trying to hold themselves back and I'm of course I'm like well I will defend myself you know and I don't want to have to go to jail again for having to defend myself again, you know, because I know how I am. If I have to, I will, um, and they know what's going on. So there was a lot of tension um, in the mall, like the Holy Spirit said. And on top of that, um, there was uh, the issue about the abandoned apartment because I don't have nowhere to go tonight. So they had the man calling me from the Greyhound that was by the Greyhound who was blowing the heat and drying out my pregnancy. He's been calling. I don't want to go back over there because he's he's blowing the heat 100 degrees in the house. on, And I, I know it's on purpose. I ain't know she crazy because it's drying out my pregnancy and making my baby stop moving. Another thing is I felt my cervix and it was like that. Like, it was like, I was like, okay, so the apply, oh, so they're trying to make me have my baby on the streets or kill it, or they're trying to make me have my baby in abandoned houses, apartments, 
or just steal it. The Holy Spirit was showing me in the um, jail that they were denying my pregnancy and then they were turning around and some of the guards and everybody, security guards who worked at the jail would be following me around in their cars on top of other people in the United States seeing who could get the baby. And I'm pregnant and they want to steal the baby. And this is what the Holy Spirit showed me and also trying to give me drugs, um, trying to say I was dirty with the baby, um, all kind of things that they're trying to do. And then they're trying to stop me from putting out the evidence about my son because this is all wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like I actually have a lawsuit at this point. And so uh, God said that these black people are terrorists. He said they're terrorists because there's no reason why they should be trying to help um, anybody kill me. And and my child and then trying to cover it up and God said to call them black terrorists and that's what they are they're black terrorists so now I'm leaving out of perimeter mall I'm leaving I'm going to get on the train I don't have anywhere to go so this is their little plot and plan to have me out on the streets um, with nowhere warm to sleep or to set me up in apartments that are abandoned um, that people are not supposed to be in or to have me um, in an abandoned house where dudes can kill me and one, the one dude said he's going out of town so he was going to be in the abandoned house and then he was going to turn around and skip town like go to a whole nother state um, in a couple of days but he was going to have me in this abandoned house with him and God had shown me after leaving Barbara's that Barbara was evil and he was showing me to get out of her house because uh, it had something to do with my baby and my little boy um, and something about me never getting my little boy back and something happening to my baby uh, because of Barbara and then um, he is something about she was jealous of my mom and that she was trying to do the same thing to me that she did to my mother and my mother is dead so I, this is very serious because people are trying to kill me and Barbara is over here talking bad about me online with her daughters and that's evil so I under I know now I know God he he revealing real deep spiritual matters and that's why they want to try to say oh you're delusional you schizophrenic my mom even saw in the spirit realm that I was going to be outside at, in the dark by myself and my mom had broke the mirror like I don't care what she looked like uh, and I was singing I plead I plead the blood I plead I plead the blood and then people that was outside that they had coming after me I couldn't see them because they looked like shadows the Lord didn't let me see they faces, they all started singing it with me. I plead, I plead the blood. Hey. And I was like, why they start singing it too? And we all started singing it. I plead, I plead the blood. Hey. And then my mama had disappeared, but she was out there with me. And basically, my mom's concern was the fact that they was leaving me outside and they had witches all around me plotting on me at night in the middle of the night so that's what's going on that's why they're leaving me outside uh, and not letting me into the shelter that's why <laughs> family putting you out people you know being evil even the police like trying to have you outside so that they can have little witches and stuff plotting all around me but it's deadly you know what i'm saying like i know i'm laughing only because god showed it to me way ahead of time you know so that's why I'm laughing a little bit, but it's not that funny when you get tired and sleepy and you got witches all around and you're pregnant and you don't know what's going to happen with you and your child. So um, that's basically uh, what my mom was uh, out there with me. She was concerned about the fact that um, she knew the witchcraft before she died. Um, and she said that she was going somewhere where there was no medicine. Something about um, the medicine that they gave her uh, when they were saying she had cancer um, and that, that, that it was something wrong with the medicine that they gave my mom. And now she's dead. And so my mom, you know, she's healed. But she's concerned. She was con she was helping in the fight for me, you know what I'm saying, in the spirit realm because she knows about this witchcraft and my mother is dead. So it is very serious 
for uh, your mom to come from the spirit realm to know that these same people that did stuff to her are over here trying to do stuff to her child and I'm still alive and they're leaving me outside or they're having me in their house and they're doing witchcraft you know what I'm saying or they're doing it outside so either way I'm gonna have to deal with these witches uh, with these covens uh, whether it's in their house or outside and I guess God knew eventually Andrea just gonna end up outside they either gonna force her outside if the witchcraft don't work in the house or she's gonna run up out of their house and leave on her own because she don't want to deal with the witchcraft up in the house you know what I'm saying so uh, that's what's going on so now I'm outside and I, they was telling me that I was not pregnant. They was lying in the jail and denying my pregnancy and I kept telling them I felt the baby moving. They was not giving me no extra food. They was poisoning the stuff. I was starving. I was skin and bone. I got out thinking, okay, well the baby gonna die or, or who gonna help us trying to go get medical care. They still kept lying. You can go on my videos and see they just kept on lying. And I'm showing the baby moving, my service changing, and they crawling and they all around and they trying to do anything they can. Set me up, trying to give me drugs. Oh, and they trying to sex traffic me because earlier after I made that first video, um, showing uh, uh, what was going on as far as how they having us out on the streets and trying to sex traffic us and children, a young man pulled up to me when I was walking past the train station. Um, and he, he pulled up on me and that's what they doing. They pulling up and plotting on me. And um, he said, these are witches, male witches, female witches. And um, he said, um, what did he say? He was like, oh, uh, what's up? Where you going? What you doing? They know I'm not going nowhere. They know I'm trying to get somewhere to stay. They know that I'm pregnant. They know they leaving me out here to plot on me. So this is all staged. And then he's like, oh, uh, but what you got going on? You know, um, and they're trying to keep me from putting out evidence, trying to control me and everything. But what you got going on? I was like, um, nothing, you know, just lying to him, not telling him that I, what I'm really going to do. I'm going to take care of my business. And he knows that probably. But he was like, oh, uh, you want to make some money? And that's what all these black men keep saying, trying to set me up to be a prostitute. Oh, you want to make some money? You want to make some money? And I said, you can give me some money, but I'm not doing anything for it. He was like, oh, you don't want to suck my dick? You don't want to give me some head? And I was like, no. And then he pulled out a whole bunch of money. You know, and I was like, no. You know, and that's what they're trying to do. So they also trying to sex traffic me. And don't think that these men will not actually have sex with me and then go run back and try to tell somebody that they slept with me for money and have me arrested and killed. So, yes, they will. And that's satanic. It's sex trafficking and it's murder. You know, um, it's wrong. And so if, even if you keep it, you don't keep a black woman pregnant out on the streets for a whole year you don't poison her in the jail for 10 months and you're not really trying to kill her yes they are god told me they really are trying to murder me and that my family is too so fuck the bullshit this is not no game that i'm over here talking about this is very serious they are very evil they're very wicked they're very envious type of people they plot on your toothbrush, they plot on your panties, they plot on your makeup, they plot on every bump on your face. You know, like they are very evil. Um, and you know, so now I don't have anywhere to go. And it's nighttime. And I gotta either go to a male witch house, that's a male witch, and he gonna be in there trying to do witchcraft to my body, subliminally, with the fucking heat. You know, trying to dry me out and then act like he don't know what he doing. Oh, you all right? Everything okay? You good? Nah, fuck that. I ain't good. It's cool outside. You ain't finna be drying me out with that fucking heater. And go, I was showing that they was like trying to burn my baby like coal. 